Hello everybody, and welcome to the capstone video for Painter U. We're so excited to show you all that we have done this semester to create a fun and relaxing app that allows you to spend time with your friends and loved ones over your phone while doing something creative. My name is Cameron Yeomans, and my teammates are Matthew Timpson, Emily Burke, and Jaden Stuver. We spent a lot of time developing and designing this app, and so we hope that you enjoy what we've got prepared for you today. It's been over a year since we entered this new stage of life, the era of COVID-19. Many people have taken this time to discover new hobbies. Painter U was inspired with this idea in mind, to give people a chance to express themselves through various new media, to offer a creative outlet for relaxation and stress relief, and also to keep people connected with their friends. During one's downtime, Painter U allows users to paint either in free play or with a paint by numbers template, offering a relaxing mindfulness activity to pass the time on a boring evening or during especially stressful times. Painter U allows users to upload photos they really like, even ones they've taken with their phone camera or saved in their gallery, and colorize the photos themselves. Beyond that, it offers an ability for users to invite friends or family to join the same painting and collaborate in real time. Take Matt, for example. He's found himself overwhelmed in his last semester before graduation. But with some spare time on his hands a Thursday afternoon, he decided it would be good fun to get together with his friend Emily and revitalize an image of a castle he took on his trip to Scotland. Once he uploads the photo to our app, it will run our image processing algorithm on the photo and give him a template which he can paint from. Then, he will be given a room code which he can in turn share to Emily to join him in creating their masterpiece together. At any time, a painter can save their photo to their phone, share via any of their social media apps, and even publish to our website's gallery. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So here we can see uh, the app that's loaded up on the uh, center half of the screen. And let's go ahead and uh, see what Matt does. So Matt's gonna first start off by clicking sign up and then typing in his first and last name. Uh, and then from here, he's gonna go ahead and type in his email. So this go ahead uh, and populates to our Google Firebase storage. Um, and it stores the password in a secure manner um, alongside Google servers. So once Matt goes ahead and clicks uh, create account, he can then log in with this account. So you can see he auto completes and then types in his password and then clicks login. So from here, he gets to the home page of the screen where he clicks create and then enters a free pay world. From free play, he can go ahead and start drawing. At this point, he tells Emily the code, which is capital I, P, 4, capital U, capital C, O. And then from here, he can go ahead and get started drawing. So it looks like he's creating a, uh, a caricature of some sort. And hopefully we'll be able to see Emily drawing with him concurrently at the same time uh, from her phone as well. So while uh, Matt is working on the hair and then switches to a cat, I believe, some sort of yeah some sort of hat interesting um let's see if we can get emily to join oh she's in and you've seen she's drawn the nose and so matt is drawing the uh the body of the person and emily drew that uh that nose of the character as well as the mouth so once matt is happy with his painting he goes ahead and clicks uh, clicks the download button and then from there he can go ahead to a paint by numbers uh, where he checks his loaded painting to see if it's been saved correctly. And then from there, he goes to upload from gallery. So here's where he gets to the fun of our app, where he goes ahead and uses our image processing algorithm to convert his picture of a castle into a paint by numbers. So at the moment, he's uploaded that picture, and it says that he's successfully uploaded it because the castle picture is shown. And then after a couple of seconds, his paint by numbers image is complete. So here you can see the outline of that castle image that he uploaded. So Matt's going to go ahead and it looks like he's going to get started on the grass first. Yeah, so he's going to go ahead and fill in the grass. Um, it's a little hard to see here, but there are numbers associated with each of the, uh, the squares. Unfortunately, it didn't come across too well on recording, but that's all right. Um, from here, Matt lets Emily know what the room code is for this painting. It's WF. Q A G three and Emily can go ahead onto the join paintings screen uh, on the home page, uh, type that code in, and then hopefully she will appear shortly. Um, I guess it looks like Matt is going to work on the sky in this meantime. And then from here, uh, Emily should be joining in. Yeah. 
Okay. So matte switches to a new color. And let's see. So matte works on this section of the castle. And oh, okay, here we go. We've got Emily joining in now. Um, she's selected a new color, and you can see her painting with a second color while Matt works on the primary color of that section. So Matt is going to switch colors again, and he is going to switch to a lighter color while he works on uh, a different portion. And let's see, so you can see Emily painting there. Oh, it looks like Matt made a mistake. So let's see if he can use one of the eraser tools to undo the mistake he's made. So here you go, you can see him uh, undoing. Um, by sort of refilling and retouching the area he screwed up on. So once he feels relatively satisfied with that, um, he'll go ahead and draw in a little bit more, and then I think we'll call it here for this demo. Our tech stack consists of a Flutter application built on a Google Dart language and is supported by Firebase for authentication and image processing. A GraphQL API for any data that needs to be stored which serves as the communication to the Postgres database, and a Redis server for the real-time communication requirements of the Flutter application, in order to assure that we have the least amount of latency that we can achieve in a scalable way. We've been pretty excited about making sure that we follow as many software engineering practices as we can, and to accomplish this, we set up a full CI-CD pipeline on GitLab using GitLab runners hosted on our server. This allows us to automatically build and test any code that we've pushed, as well as distribute any versions that we've pushed onto a release branch. Throughout the project, we've completed 72 issues over 16 weeks, which corresponds to 340 commits. Throughout development, we had two major user studies, holding more intermediate studies in between with some of our more avid testers. These tests led us to make user-focused changes to our app, specifically tailored to a smooth user experience with more user-friendly tools. Oh. And a quick word regarding image processing. We're using a Google Firebase function uh, with the OpenCV library to perform uh, algorithms such as k-means to do cluster detection on the groupings of colors that we're doing. And so, for example, if the user picks uh, eight colors, it will cluster eight groupings with k-means. And then from there, we'll do an edge detection algorithm, which, which I wrote to find the borders of the colors. And then from there, it will strip the RGB values of the colors to a JSON, which it will then send to the app, process the image, and then send the outlined image as well. And so to quickly summarize all that we've gone through today, PainterU is a free app that allows its users to paint alone or with friends in free play or with a paint by numbers template that they can personally create without needing to be an already skilled artist. The networking allows users to paint simultaneously with as many friends as they'd like on a single painting. And at the end of the day, we here at PainterU realize that one of the most important things in life are the connections that you have with others. And we wanted to make sure that you had a new way to uphold those connections with those that you love and care about. And ultimately, think we think that there is an endless amount of possible creations in store. So frankly, who wouldn't want to paint together with their friends and create fun memories that are immortalized together by their finalized pieces? Thanks.